Sorry, yeah? Unbelievable. Unbelievable. Five, six, two, six. One, six, four, two. Can I have your number, please, officer? Five, six, one, zero. How do you feel after that? How do you feel after that, eh? You mean to tell me you came out of the house this morning to drag an 85-year-old woman across the road? Seriously, Sergeant, you condone this. You condone dragging 85-year-old women across the road. How does that make you feel, 5626? Hey, are you not ashamed? Because you should be. Well, can't look at me. Can't look at the camera. An 85-year-old woman you just dragged over there with her feet hanging on the floor. And your Sergeant condones that. Well done, Sarge. Smiler. Is it really necessary, Inspector Riley, to shut the road? Well, to stop the traffic off. And is it really necessary to drag an 85-year-old woman over? Inspector Riley, I thought better of you than that. Inspector Riley, I heard you down for a bit more than that. To give the order to drag an 85-year-old woman across the road. An 85-year-old counsellor woman across the road. We've asked. So, so there's no way that, that, that you could have an officer on her legs lifting her legs up. You will next time, yeah. You will next time. You will next time you drag the 85-year-old, yeah. So why didn't you this time? So what if her feet are already hurt? Yeah. Two officers just followed watching that. So I was told to peacefully remove... Sir, I was told that basically to remove protesters peacefully and in a humane manner, they should have been lifted at both ends. Now, an 85-year-old woman, why would you drag her across the road? Well, I'll feed that back in. I wish you would, yeah. Why was she not lifted by the feet? To remove people in a humane manner, you should have actually grabbed hold of her feet as well, instead of dragging her across the road like a piece of meat. Yeah, the two officers, follow, the two officers we were following, they should be ashamed of themselves for not even picking her feet up. Absolutely. It's crazy, isn't it? Absolutely. Yeah. And you know what he said to me when I asked him why didn't you pick her feet up? He said we will next time. Absolutely. How are you feeling, Annie? You okay? Yeah. But the vehicle, there was no warning whatsoever that that huge vehicle was coming into the gates. I was aware, particularly no. if it was in gates, it was part of a protest looking the other way. And suddenly there's a vehicle up there moving. Those inches from me, but it was still moving. It seemed to have no idea that I couldn't see it, didn't know it was coming. So did you uh, did they did they did you get off, offered any protection at that point by by the these guys that are here to facilitate peaceful protest no, because a lorry there. driving that year is not peaceful is it? Well they weren't even there. No, there were no police within earshot or sound, sight or sound of me. Okay. The police have not been here. They're all having their coffees and their long lunch hours up in the vans there, occupying the countryside and occupying our incomes. Sat, sat up there all day long in their vans. There were no police here at all. There had been three blue shirts, whatever they're called, up there, and I'd been talking to them, trying to get a sensible answer out of them, which of course I didn't. So I left and went over here, and they, I think, left. But there was nobody here when this huge vehicle tried to go into the gates. and. I couldn't believe, I still cannot, I'm not in shock.
I just mentally cannot believe that this vehicle kept driving when it saw an old person not looking at it mm. with a wheel with a, a working walking stick. And then I realized the guy alongside me, I don't know he was alongside me, he was being pushed. This vehicle was on his chest and he was being pushed back. Because this vehicle wasn't stopping. No. Ever happened. This vehicle was not going to stop. And have you have you have you read that that article that was out? Uh, it was in the Blackpool Gazette. No. Uh, the use of force. Somebody did a. I think one of the Kirby guys did a, a Freedom of Information Act on the the powers that, that the cops have been given, um, and they're told not to stop. They're told not to. You know they can they can act. I can't I can't remember the force that the specific force that they're allowed to use. Um, so if if for any point, I mean I know because I've been up and down this road for months now, that these lorries aren't stopping. And I believe, genuinely, these these lorries have been told not to stop. Yeah. They can go go under any circumstances. And, and, and we're seen as collateral damage. Yes, um, yes I believe that too. And from the, way they just, from the way they just dragged you over there, Anne, yes. I just spoke to the inspector. I said to him, why, for a humane way to, to remove peaceful people, you should have an officer on each, like, to, yes, on your feet, Yes. and lifting under your arms. And you know what his answer was to me? Oh, well, we'll do that next time. So, you know, I mean, he did say that he was over there and out of the way when it happened, but whoever gave that order to drag you across the road like that, they, they that's quite worrying. It really is, you know? It really is. Well, I've never experienced that before. I've never let myself be in that position, but once there was, I obviously was just going to go with it and see what they did to me. But interestingly enough, if you look over there now, the rest yeah. of the people that was sat over there with you mm. are still over there. Yeah. Now, nobody else was dragged across, only yourself. No, there was one woman Was they? Across, actually, yes. Okay. But she's a rather vociferous type protector. Yeah. Well, no, sorry, yeah, there was, there was two of you then, but the rest of them was laid there. So who gave the order for that? It, yeah. it was just a ridiculous police of policing again, yes. which, which is not it's surprising. Hoc, isn't it? It's just as somebody gets it into his head and gets somebody else to help him, and yeah. they do it. Yeah, yeah. And two two cops, interestingly, they just walked across with you yeah. at the front of you. Instead of picking your feet up, yeah. they walked across with you. It, the shoes came and they couldn't look at me when I asked them why. Yeah. Yeah. But you all right, yeah? Yes, thanks. I'm really glad I made statement, you know, a physical statement. Mm. Thanks, Sam.